2009. It's uh, called uh, D100. <laughs> In February 2009, I took my son Nolan, who was 16 at the time, to his very first gaming con. Uh, it looks like I didn't say what the con was. It was Orcon down at the uh, down by LAX uh, in in, uh, in Los Angeles, uh, which is called that. Uh, yeah, it was the first. It was my first gaming con too, um, and it was uh, it's one of the cons that I, I go back to over and over and over again. It's really a lot of fun. Those guys put on a really good show. Um, in fact, it was at a it was at a, a strategic strategic con in like 1988 or 89. I walked into the vendors area. So whenever year Avalon came out, because the game designer was there and demoed it for me and my friend Darren, which was really cool. Um, I was walking through the, uh, through the dealer room, and uh, I come upon uh, this guy uh, who has, in addition to a few games, he has all this like cool science fiction stuff. And those guys, like back in those days, uh, when if you were into anime, you could really only get like fifth generation bootleg DVD, uh, VHS, I mean, VHS uh, tape copies. Um, so uh, uh, my friends and I were those guys that watched Akira like probably 10 or 15 times before we actually knew what the story was. <laughs> And then, and then it turns out that, like, um, the story that we thought it had been telling us all along actually had nothing at all to do with what the story actually was. Um, so I, I saw this guy, and I was looking through his, uh, his, his tapes, um, hoping to find uh, a, uh, a copy of, uh, of the, the, that old laser disc of Blade Runner. Um, and uh, uh, I, I'm looking through all of his wares, and I get down, and I see that he's selling buttons. And one of the buttons has a picture of me on it. <laughs> And it says, put Wesley in the airlock. <laughs> huh. <laughs> he sees me looking at the pin. And now it becomes very important to him to take the pin off the table. <laughs> Ha ha ha!